How to make a school management system in WordPress for beginners. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video we're going to be discussing on how you can basically make uh, yourself, you know, a school management system or an SMS in WordPress. Now, basically a school management system is something you know like your cms or lms where people or teachers specifically can you know set different records for their students add you know grades give them remarks stuff like that so yeah that's what we're going to be doing today and we're going to be doing it on wordpress yes the most used one of the most used if not the most used e-commerce platforms out there so without further ado let's get straight into it now to work around with this obviously first of all what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and sign up with our wordpress so we're going to go to wordpress.com and I'm gonna open a temp mail to sign myself up. So here you can see, welcome to the world's most popular website builder. 42% of the web is built on WordPress. More bloggers, small businesses, and Fortune 500 companies use WordPress than all the other options combined. Join the millions of people that call WordPress.com home. So obviously we're gonna, we're gonna follow them right away. We're gonna click on get started, okay? Now I'm gonna be using a temp mail for this. Uh, so I'm gonna put in uh, my mail. I'm gonna go with a random username and I'm gonna choose a good strong password and I'm gonna click on create your account. Once you do that, it's gonna ask you to choose a domain. So basically once you're choosing a domain, you can choose your own domain, like use a domain you own or you can just write something random. So let's say you're just gonna write cool. You're gonna write that, okay? Now once you write that, it's gonna give you, you know, all these different, uh, you could say, URLs or domains that you can use. Uh, they're going to be free for the first year, but later on you're going to have to pay them, obviously. Or you can just go with the free one. The free one isn't the most appealing, but hey, come on, it's free and this is what you're going to get. So once we're here, choose your flavor of WordPress. You can obviously go with all these, uh, but obviously for now, for video purposes, I'm going to go and start with a free one. Now, once I start with a free one, it's gonna basically start my setup. So what are your goals? Select all that, apply, write and publish, sell online, promote myself for business, get a website quickly, import my existing website content, etc. So I'm gonna go with write and publish, obviously. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And here it says, what's your website about? So you're obviously gonna write, uh, it's a school. So let's go with education, okay? And we're gonna click on continue. So choose your name, choose your tagline. You can change this later or you can like just leave it for now, it doesn't really matter. So here it says, nice job. Now it's time to get creative, graph your first post, watch blogging videos and choose a design. Now I'm gonna be doing all this later. So I'm gonna go and skip to dashboard and we're gonna get straight into, you know, the whole work process that comes with making a school management system. Now we're here, it says, let's get ready to launch, okay? So here we can see it. It says, hello world, welcome to WordPress. This is your first post, edit or delete it to take the first step in your blogging journey, okay? So write your first post, we're gonna go here. Now once you go there, what you're gonna do is you're gonna write any random posts. So I'm gonna go ahead and obviously it's like an SMS, a school management system. So I'm gonna write first post for the students. Now here I'm gonna write, let's write, hi kids, this is your teacher. Please click on the link to join the online class. You know, something randomly like that. That's not what's gonna be on the SMS site, but it, this is just for an example. So once you have added that, what you're gonna do now is you're gonna basically uh, go ahead and here you go. Your first post is published, pretty cool. Now, once all of that is done, you're gonna accept all of that. And finally, you're gonna go on view post. Now, once your first post uh, is here, you can basically change the theme and stuff of your school. And, uh, you know, you can do all of this if you want to. Like, uh, let's say you wanna go with a more formal theme, okay? So to go over the for more formal theme, let's like, uh, you're just gonna go here, you're gonna search your own theme, you're gonna write school, okay? Something related to school. And uh, let's go with this. This is a totally free theme. And you're gonna click on activate this design. And once you click on activate this design, what it's gonna do is it's gonna basically bring that theme to your page. 
So once that happens, we're, it's, we're just gonna wait for it to load it up for us. And here we are. Now we have loaded the theme and as you can see, this is the whole design process. So we're not here to, you know, talk about the designs and whatnot. So we're here to talk about how you're basically going to, you know, add the whole management system. So to add the management system, what you're gonna need is, or we're just gonna click on launch your site. And once you click on launch your site, it's gonna basically take you to your main dashboard. So here we go. Congrats, your site is live. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna come here, okay? You're gonna go in plugins. Now, once you're in plugins, what's gonna happen is you're gonna search for school management system, basically. So school management system, you're just gonna search for that. And now either you can go with this, the Sokola WordPress is a WordPress school management system that helps schools to manage their daily activity, or you can go with WordPress's very own school management system. I'd recommend this because this is just much better. Now, once you're here, all you're gonna do is you're gonna go on upgrade and activate, and like make sure you have an upgraded account, at least the business plan. And once you've done that, you're just gonna activate it and uh, you're gonna basically allow it to come to your, like get integrated with your site. Now, once you add this to your WordPress, what's gonna happen is basically you're obviously gonna get it uh, into your system and once it's in your system, all you're gonna do is you're gonna add all the data for the students, you're gonna add all the necessary data yet that you want to add. And once you've added the data, from there on out, it's just piece of, it's a piece of cake from there on out. So that's all about the risk to it to a school management platform in WordPress. So, and as you can see, it works great. How you can like have your own LBS, LMS, SMS, MMS. It, it just looks amazing, okay? So yeah, that's partially about it. So just know this, have an upgraded plan, have WooCommerce, and then just add your school management plugin or add-on. And from there on out, it's dandy. It's easy work and you're off to a great start. So uh, I hope this tutorial was extremely helpful to you. And uh, if you need any more videos like this, please do tell me. I am always available and I will give you the easiest step-to-step -step guide for any type of videos that you demand. And uh, if you have any queries regarding this video, you can let me know down in the comments. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll, I guess I'll see you next time. Uh, before signing off, uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, leave down a nice comment if you watch the video. And please don't forget to share this video with uh, any of your friends in need or your family. So, yeah, basically, that's all there is today for this video. If you enjoyed it, please drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please let me know down in the comments below. And if you have any issues or queries with this video, please let me know that as well. And I'll get straight back to you and help you as soon as I can. But, yeah, until then... Uh, that was all from me. I hope you all keep having a great day and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.